Hi everyone, I want to say a welcome to all the kids at the Farrar and the Mingo United Methodist Churches. Uh, my name is Phil Dixon, I happen to be the pastor of the Mingo Farrar United Methodist Churches, and on Sundays I always enjoy doing children's message with the kids on occasion, and so I've decided during this age of stay inside self-quarantine pandemic that I have a chance to actually do a little talk with them. So I wanted to share with you today about something called um, uh, adversity, problems. you ever have any problems? Well, I have a problem. Now, can you see... Let's see, can you see this tree right here? All right, very good. That's a birch tree, and I planted it in my front yard. The only problem is it got so big, I mean, it got giant. And so the leaves sometimes have a problem, and sometimes they have a difficulty because they shade out all the other plants, so I had to trim it down today. Anyway, so I had all the trimmings, and I thought, you know, I'm just going to throw everything away. You know, it's no good. I mean, what do you have? A bunch of branches and leaves, and it's like, ah nothing there and I read in a book how you can transplant and start a tree do you know how you start a tree sometimes you can start it with a with a seed sometimes you can start it with like a nut looking thing but what I discovered is you can start a tree with watch this this branches so some of the branches that I cut off of my tree I actually took them and I'm going to be using them in order to plant them and to grow more trees now, to give you an idea, I, I planted some of those the other day. I found a tree that I really liked, and I cut it off, and I put it together and everything else, and I thought, whoa, this was a problem for me, figuring out what to do with these trees, and now I can start new baby trees. They'll just come popping up all over the place, and before you know it, we'll look, and oh, there's another tree. Ah, do you believe it? That's what happens. So anyway, what I'm going to do is show you what I do with these because you might want to have a parent or somebody help you. You might want to plant a tree too because now's the perfect time to do it. And then you use this problem to be an opportunity. An opportunity to grow something big and beautiful that you can plant and put in your house. You can put in other people's houses. You can give them away. Whatever you want to do. You could plant a tree and then when it gets great big you can say, I planted that tree. I did, yes. Um, Pastor Phil showed me exactly how to plant it, and I planted the tree, and look, now I've got trees growing up all over the place. All right, so I'm going to turn this around so you can see me, and I hope you can. There, now you can see me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the branches that I have here. So this is the branch of a tree, and what I do is I just use a little knife, and I just scrape it on the end. So if you can see what I'm going to do here, I just make a little slice right off the end. I just scrape a little bit of stuff off, see? I scrape it off just a little bit and I just scrape off another little piece. Now this is pretty cool because if you see a tree that you like or you've got some in a neighborhood or you've got some that all of a sudden, you know, a branch falls off the tree or somebody cuts them, you can go over and say, hey, excuse me, can I have one of those branches? Because I can do something with that branch. Because you can do, you can put it in the soil, work it, and all of a sudden you got a tree. All right, so once again, I just cut those down so they're nice and cut like that. See how I do that? Oh, this is so cool. I don't know. You know, I always think it's great when you have trees to name them. What do you think I should name this tree? Any idea? I think I'll name it Hope. <laughs> How about that? I hope it grows, and I don't will. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this. This is called powder, rooting powder. And I take some of this. It's like a little bit of like, I don't know, what is it? Like sugar, I guess. And I just simply wipe some on the ends like that and I get it all on there, and then it's ready now to plant. So I just take it, watch this, and I'm gonna take this little tree, and I just have some dirt in this little pot. I have some rocks on top so it doesn't get lost, and there's my tree. Now watch this, I'm gonna take, and I'm just gonna put it right down in there. See what I just did? Guess what? I planted a tree. And you know what will happen in a, in a few weeks? This thing will actually grow roots and actually grow. Do you believe it? Watch this. This was a little treeny tree that I started uh, probably about three, four weeks ago. Now look at it. I mean, it's almost ready to branch out and uh, be a shade tree. I mean, who knows? Maybe you can come over to my house and climb it. I mean, you might want to give it a few more weeks, but that's what it looks like. Now, what's so cool about that is, is that you can imagine, you can take something that looks like it's absolutely dead, like there's nothing there, and you can turn it into a tree. And I love it because it's like a way of saying, God, thank you so much for my tree. And what's the name of my tree? Hope. <laughs> I love that word, hope. This is my hope tree. 
And you know what? I just pray that God will just give it blessings and hope that one day it'll grow nice and big and tall. And you know what else? I hope that it will be a place where birds can have a nest and have little baby birds right here in that little corner. See that little corner right there? That's where I'm going to have a baby's nest right there. Baby bird nest. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, I have to tell you one thing. You have to water it. You have to kind of keep it watered in order for it to go. But when it does, all of a sudden, you're so shocked and surprised when you get this beautiful, beautiful tree. Now, there's a wonderful Bible verse that says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. So, I want to tell you, I am so happy because if I hadn't trimmed my tree, I would not have little branches that I could suddenly turn into another tree that I can grow into something big and beautiful. Because before I know it, all of a sudden, the tree will start growing like this. It's got one leaf, two, three leaves, four leaves, five leaves, six leaves. Oh my goodness. And then right here, that's where there's going to be a bird's nest. I know. In my tree called what? Hope. I love that word. Hey, let's have a prayer together. God, I give you thanks for every boy and girl here today. I give you thanks for your trees, and I give you thanks for green, and I give you thanks for the birds, and I just give you thanks for opportunities we have just to learn what it means in order to take something that usually is dead and make it alive again. I just pray you'll bless this tree and you'll bless every boy and girl here. You'll send 100,000 angels to surround them and take care of them. And that in any time we have adversity or problems or difficulties, we know that Jesus is with us and we can use it as an opportunity to grow something green for God. I love it. Be with every boy and girl, I pray. And everybody said, Amen. Like I always do at church. Friends, go be the church. And you say, Go be the church. See you next week. Bye.